أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم brothers and sisters During the Hadratul Ilahiyya Council on Thursday March 26 2020 which can be compared to the Council of Ministers of the Government of Allah held every Thursday evening in the presence of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him Amafatihul Kunuz took the floor and asked the following question As a reminder the Mafatihul Kunuz are the saints or awliya who are in charge of calculating and valuing the mystical lights produced by Muslims during the performance of their acts of worship. The Mafatihul Kunus asked his question in these terms, addressing the Akhtab, highest degree of sense, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, Mawlai Sheikh Tijani, and the other Prophets. I noticed that during this period of confinement, the fight against COVID-19, all mosques and Zawiya are closed. This is the case for Masjid al-Haram, Masjid al-Nabawiyya, even Masjid al-Aqsa is also inaccessible. I was also able to observe that faced with this situation, the good Lord proceeded to certain reorganizations, in particular the one that is put in place between Bayt al-Ma'mur and the Kaaba. Also, as a Mafatihul Kunuz, given the isolated context of Mecca and Medina, I expected the mystical Friday prayer led by the Qutbu of the time at Masjid al-Aqsa in Sixth Heaven, either moved to Masjid al-Haram or Masjid al-Nabawi. I see to my surprise that this prayer is maintained at Masjid al-Aqsa. So illustrious assembly, my question is to know why in this particular context this prayer was not moved alternately between the first two holy places of Islam namely Masjid al-Haram in Masjid al-Nabawiyya. Dear listeners, before giving you the answer that the Qutb al-Aqtab al-Kabir gave to the Mafatih al kunuz we would like to come back with you on the two mystical organizations mentioned above, namely the mystical Friday prayer at Masjid al-Aqsa and the mystical reorganization that the good Lord has put in place between Bayt al-Ma'mur and the Kaaba following the closure of Masjid al-Haram. This is not the Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem, but its heavenly namesake. However, these two mosques, both bearing the name Masjid al-Aqsa, have a very close mystical relationship. Every Friday, a prayer is performed in this building of light, which is located in the sixth heaven, in the presence of the khutbus and some great saints. It may intrigue some people when it is said that someone has led a prayer before the Prophet peace be upon him. Yet this is the case in this heavenly mosque. Indeed, the Imam who leads this prayer must fulfill certain conditions pre-established by the Prophet peace be upon him. The condition for being chosen is the fact that the awliya must hold the highest grade of Qutbaniyu, which is that of Qutbu Zaman. And of course, that Imam must be alive. If this happens that the Khutbu Zaman of the town dies, it is his successor who will have to lead the prayer to the sixth heaven, under the order of the Prophet peace be upon him, who will then perform the Iqamah to him. The mystical organization of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala between Bayt al-Ma'mur and the Kaaba after the closure of Masjid al-Haram during the confinement related to COVID-19. The tawaf, consisting for Muslims to go around the Kaaba, represents in the invisible world an important part and exceptional representation of the mystical side. Yet, the tawaf was stopped because of the pandemic. Hence, to fill the void caused by the absence of Muslims around the Kaaba, Allah sent half of the angels of Bayt al-Ma'mur to go around the Kaaba to replace the believers who deserted the place because of the COVID-19. For your information, Bayt al-Ma'mur is a heavenly place where 70,000 angels organized in seven rows of 10,000 each circle the building continuously. Also, half of the angels that circle around Bayt al-Ma'mur go down to make their seven rounds around the Kaaba 
and then returned to join their counterparts around Beit al -Ma'mur. Another group of angels will detach themselves from the celestial spheres to perform the same ritual. They thus take turns around the Kaaba, which must not remain empty at any time. Now, let's go back to the question of the Mafati al -Kunuz. The Khutb al aqtab al-Kabir response was as follows. Actually, Masjid al-Haram is the first holy place of Islam, followed by Masjid al-Nabawiyya and Masjid al-Aqsa. The fact of maintaining the mystical Friday prayer at Masjid al-Aqsa in the sixth heaven is not explained solely by the mystical relationship between the two mosques, namely Masjid al-Aqsa, Jerusalem, and Masjid al-Aqsa in sixth heaven, but rests rather and above all on the mystical relation which links the Prophet Isa to the Masjid of Al-Aqsa of Jerusalem. Also, it is important to note that the Masjid Al-Aqsa is of a particular importance in the spirit of the end times or Akhiru Zaman. The importance is based on the relationship between the two main characters of the end of times, who are Imam Al-Mahdi and the Prophet Isa But also, the scale of the events that must take place in this place. Apart from the historic meeting of the two men in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which gives this place all its symbolic value, enormous secrets in the form of codes are recorded there. Indeed, these protected codes are mystically buried inside the mosque. They are wrapped in a white cloth of light, and each represents a name of God among the Asmaullah al-Husna, which are a total of 99. To well carry out their missions, Imam Mahdi and Prophet Isa will have to decode the secrets buried in the mosque of Al-Aqsa. The power of these secrets is such that each of them would be enough to lead and strengthen out today's world. Thanks to this bundle of lights present in the mosque of Al-Aqsa, which is the third holiest place of Islam, a particular organization specific to the Ghaib world has been put in place and only those with inner vision can see it. In fact, every day, at any hour, day and night, pure souls perform the tawaf around this mosque. These are the souls of the 313 prophets sent, chosen from among those of the existence, 124,000 prophets. It's thanks to all this symbolism related to the mosque of Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem that the mystical Friday prayer is maintained at the sixth heaven. In the response brought to the Mafatih al -Kunuz, the Khutb al -Akhtab continues his argument, giving details of the particular relationship linking Imam al-Mahdi, Isa ibn Maryam, and the other holy places of Islam. As such, he explains that other secrets are buried in other places on earth, notably in Fez, Morocco, in Masjid al-Haram, in Masjid al-Nabawiyya, but also in the place where Imam al-Mahdi resides. Some of these secrets will be deciphered by Imam al-Mahdi before Prophet Isa ibn Maryam's arrival. Before continuing, we invite you all to meditate on this exceptional rain on Arafat's day during Hajj 2019. Because it is without any doubt heralding a major event that will occur in the coming years and which will mark the history of the Muslim world. It will be during his spectacular pilgrimage that he will soon make to Mecca, that Imam al-Mahdi will decipher the bundle of lights kept inside the Masjid al-Haram in front of an important assembly. Many mystical realities will appear during this pilgrimage. When Imam al-Mahdi will decrypt the secret contained in the bundle buried in the Masjid Nabawiyya, he will be at the moment recognized by all the Muslims attending the scene. After that, from Medina to Mecca, all Muslims will pledge allegiance to him. However, the coded secret treatment of the Al-Aqsa Mosque by Imam al-Mahdi will await the arrival of the Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Such is the divine will. The Prophet Isa and Imam al-Mahdi will not have enough time in their common governance of the world to activate all the secrets contained in the bundle of lights buried inside Masjid al-Aqsa. In fact, According to the teachings of Islam, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, Imam al-Mahdi will live only seven years after Prophet Isa's descent, 
who will in his turn definitely go away two years after the disappearance of the Walgari Imam. We can say that Isa alayhi salam will stay on earth for nine years. Those nine years of the Shahada world represent 40 days in the Ghaib world. This has misled some interpreters of the Quran who claim that Prophet Isa alayhi salam will remain 40 years on earth. To understand this reality, you will have to watch the video made on our YouTube channel, Mahdi's Teachings, entitled The Concept of Time. Indeed, it is explained there that these two worlds do not have the same representations of time. The units of measure used to determine time are different. The year, the month, the day, the hour are understood differently. Prophet Isa alayhi salam will spend most of his time at Al-Aqsa Mosque, but this will not prevent him from traveling and visiting regularly Mecca, Medina, or the country of residence of Imam al-Mahdi. The first meeting between Imam al-Mahdi and the Prophet Isa alayhi salam will take place in this famous mosque of Al-Aqsa, just before the dawn prayer. The well-guided, who is about to lead the Fajr prayer, we see the Prophet Isa alayhi salam entering the mosque. Imam al-Mahdi will meet him with admiration and with all the honors due to his status as a prophet. The Imam will offer to lead the prayer, an offer that the Prophet Isa will respectfully decline, who will insist on the fact that Imam al-Mahdi is the Amir al-Mu'minin of the time and that he is the representative of the Prophet of Islam on earth. Prophet Isa will thus make it clear that if he had found Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him there, he would have prayed behind him and that even if he returned to earth, he is now part of the mission of Islam. It is the Prophet Isa himself who will make the call to prayer. Imam al-Mahdi dressed in his white jalaba, the green turban on his head will then lead the prayer. After the final greetings, Prophet Isa alayhi salam will hug Imam al-Mahdi while making sure to kiss the green turban gently placed on his head. This act will be symbolic because the Prophet Isa in doing so will recognize the high rank of Imam al-Mahdi. After all this protocol, a long discussion will follow between the two men. All of the events will take place on a Friday morning. Let's recall that before the descent of the Prophet Isa on earth, while he was in the Ghaib world, another organization had already taken place in the period of the end time. Before Imam al-Mahdi turns 40 and before the official start of his mission, the world will be in such a state of desolation that the Prophet Isa will ask to anticipate his descent to earth to come to the aid of the well-guided Imam in his management of the world. Indeed, Jesus will make his first request when Imam al-Mahdi turns 38 years old. And also, when the Shahada world will plunge more and more into darkness, the angels will retort that the time for his descent has not yet come. The second request to return to earth will take place one morning. This period is still unknown because it is coded by the world Ghaib. The third demand will be the correct one. The angels this time will approve the request. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then authorize the descent which will be done as you know in Damascus in Syria in the white minaret. When Imam al-Mahdi dies, at the funeral ceremony, the whole assembly will expect the Prophet Isa to lead the funeral prayer. But he will return the courtesy that Imam al-Mahdi had granted him during his descent by offering to lead the dawn prayer to the saint or the awliya who is in this period. Isa ibn Maryam will designate the saint for the funeral prayer. The latter will politely decline this invitation and will put the Prophet Isa in front of the ceremony. The world will consider that the funeral prayer will have been made by the holy man as he was first appointed by the Prophet Isa. In the world of hidden realities, an order given by a Prophet is considered to be an order from God the Almighty and that it should be executed as it is. After the death of Imam al-Mahdi, Prophet Isa will continue his mission alone for two years he will fulfill all of his obligations related to his mission and on a beautiful day, he too will disappear. He will leave Jerusalem suddenly. 
but before that, he will bid farewell to his close entourage made up of very few people. He will let them know that his mission is over and that he will have to return to the Ghaib world. By the time he tells them of his departure, a strange phenomenon will occur. He will get up, take a step and disappear into the nature. The people he was with will think he went back to heaven as he came when the reality is quite different. Indeed, at this precise moment, being still in the mosque of Al-Aqsa, Isa ibn Maryam lifted his foot as if he was taking a step and put it down in Mecca. He therefore propelled himself to Mecca by mystical act, more precisely to Masjid al-Haram. Isa ibn Maryam having disappeared from people's eyes, everyone will think of a second ascent to the sky. Only 19 awliya or saints, men of God, will be aware of the reality of the situation. In fact, they will be the only ones to understand that the Prophet Isa will have used an Inayut Rabbanu, means of movement in the world Ghaib, to go to Mecca. These 19 people in question will find the Prophet Isa at the level of Maqam Ibrahim salam. Isa ibn Maryam will take a very special position. Indeed, dressed in a beautiful yellow jalaba, he will be seated on the ground, leaning against the Maqam Ibrahim. He will bring his knees to the level of his chest, he will lay his hands on his knees with the left hand down and the right hand over. His eyes will be closed and his long curly hair will fall on his shoulders. It is in this posture that the 19 men of God will find him. The highest rank of the 19 will inform the others that the mission of Isa ibn Maryam was over and that he had died. He will stand in front while the 18 others will stand right behind him and they will do the takbir on the body of the Prophet. This is how they will perform the mortuary prayer of the Prophet Isa They will break the tiling between the Kaaba and Maqam Ibrahim to bury him. Good news for the Muslim world and significant information is that this holy man who will lead the mortuary prayer of Imam al-Mahdi and that of Isa ibn Maryam has already been born. He is still a child and is currently learning to walk. Then they will perform a very special ritual. They will make a procession around the fresh tomb of Prophet Isa by pronouncing the last formula that men of God must recite together on earth. At the end of the recitation of the formula, each of these awliya or men of God will take their inayat rabbanu to return to their base. Once they return to their respective bases, they will die four hours following their arrival at home and it will be there the beginning of the apocalypse. The sea will start to steer strongly. A strong wind will rise. The earth will begin to tremble and there we can see that the end of the world is fast approaching. Even before people realize that the 19 saints are no longer of this world, the natural phenomena that will precede the end of the world will have already started. We just chronicled the organization of the life of the Prophet Isa when he returns. We also explained the mysticism of the Mosque of Al-Aqsa, as well as the secrets it contains and how the codes will be deciphered by Imam al-Mahdi and the Prophet Isa We have reached the end of this presentation. This text is drawn from the teachings of our Honorable Guide, Khutb al al Kabir, Mawlai Sidi Muhammad al-Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.